DeepSeek R1 Olama Reasoning Chatbot. Now you are able to create chatbot completely for free. And you can run this model locally on your computer. DeepSeek R1, one of the most powerful large language model right now. And we are going to use the distal version from Olama where you can download this AI model for free to complete a complex task, to write essay, to rewrite your emails and much more. It's going to be 100% local and private, run entirely on your device, no cloud dependency and enhanced privacy. By the end of this video, you will create a chatbot like this, where when you ask a question like this, number of R's in the word strawberry, the reasoning model via Olama is able to think through the process and towards the end, it's able to give the correct answer. Also, I'll show you how you can integrate this model in your basic application and convert this into a user interface. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. First, go to olama.com and then download Olama. Then Olama pull DeepSeek R1 and this thing you can type in your terminal. After this, click enter. Now the model got downloaded and you don't need internet to run this model now. To test this model, you can even type Olama run DeepSeek R1 and then click enter. Now the model is running. Now I can ask any question. Number of R's in the word strawberry. It's thinking through the process. As you can see, there's a think tag and here the think tag ends and we got the answer here. Now I'm going to exit. In your terminal, pip install Olama and Gradio, then click enter. Olama is the main package. Gradio is for creating the user interface. Next, let's create a file called app.py and let's open it. Next, inside the file, import Olama. Next, completions equals Olama chat. There we are providing the model DeepSeek R1 latest, the system message, you are a helpful assistant, and the user question, why sky is blue. Now the response is taken from here, that's where the content is, and we'll print the response. That's it, all done. Just a few lines of code, and you have integrated the reasoning model into your Python application. Now I'm going to run this code. In your terminal, Python app.py and then click enter. And here's the answer, think, then it was thinking for a long time up until here. Then it gave me the answer of why the sky is blue because that's what the question we asked here. Now we are going to convert this code into streaming response. To do that, just adding stream equals true. Then we need to loop for chunk in completion. We are getting the same as before and printing the response. I will put all the code in the description below so you are able to take it and use it for yourself. Now I'm going to run this code. You're going to see the difference, Python app.py. Now you can see it's automatically typing in my terminal and I can see directly. So in this way, it's more interactive rather than the user waiting for a long time. So this process is called streaming response. Next, we are going to convert this code into a Gradio user interface. That will be like a Olama reasoning chatbot. So here I made a few modifications. I imported Gradio as GR, then created a function chat with Olama with message and history. In history, we are storing the previous response. The remaining things are the same. So olama.chat is same, stream equals true is same, and the streaming is the same. One thing differs is that I'm going to remove this think tag, and instead I'm going to replace that with thinking. Then replace this end thinking tag with answer, just for us to clearly understand from the user interface. Also, the gradient interface might think that this is a HTML tag, so it's good to replace. So yeah, this is the overall function we created. Next, we need three components in the user interface. One is a chatbot. One area is a text box to send a message. And third is a button to clear all the response. This user function, the message will be displayed on the right hand side. The bot function, the message will be displayed on the left hand side. And as soon as the submit button is pressed, the message will be passed to chat with Olama function. Demo.launch to launch the whole application. So just this bit of code, so you can just copy and paste it and run it. Now coming back to my terminal, I'm going to type python app.py, that is the user interface, and here is the URL. So I'm going to open this URL, and here is the chatbot. The three different components, as we saw before, a chatbot, a text box, and a clear message, that is the button. So I'm going to say, how many R's are in the word strawberry? Now you can see the user message, the user function on the right hand side, left hand side, the thinking process, that's the message from the system, and I got a response here. As simple as that. Now you are able to create DeepSeek R1 
Olama reasoning chatbot. Do let me know in the comments below what you think about this. Considering you're already like Olama and would like to run models in your computer, I also created another video which is about creating a RAG chatbot. AI agents with knowledge and you can run that locally with Olama. I'll put the link in here and I highly recommend for you to watch and I will see you there.